everyone. Good Thursday morning to you. It's 21 News Chief Meteorologist Eric Wilhelm here. Let's do a, a quick weather update on our incoming snow. This is not going to be a big storm for most of us, but it is the first snow we've had in a while. And, you know, remember we only had 0.4 inches officially at the airport in February. We could see that much in a couple of hours in some spots uh, early Friday morning. So it's not a huge deal, but considering where we've been this winter, uh, it is something we need to pay attention to. And this morning, our storm system doesn't look like much. It's out across the Midwest, and some snow is breaking out this morning in parts of uh, the upper Midwest and into the Plain states. This system will become better organized and more compact as it comes east. And as we've been talking about this week, the exact track of this storm is very, very important. A little wiggle here and there will make a big difference between maybe a very little snow and a couple of inches or vice versa and mixed precipitation can play a role as well so let's break down the uh, latest model information there's been some trends overnight and these trends may not be permanent we'll see how today's trends go but the trends overnight would suggest a slightly more northerly track drawing in slightly warmer air and lowering snowfall totals and expectations in many areas but that was the overnight trend. Again, we're gonna we got plenty of time to you know keep an eye on the very latest model information throughout the day today. But here's uh, kind of the overnight run of one of our high resolution models. The timing hasn't really changed as far as our expe expectations. There, we expect snow to break out probably somewhere between four and five a.m. in most spots, maybe even as early as three thirty a.m. in some places uh, south and west of Youngstown. Now, as this comes in, it's mostly going to be snow, but already there are signs that as the precipitation pushes in, this may already be kind of a rain-snow mix for a little while down towards Lisbon and Guilford Lake and over towards uh, the Rogers area, East Liverpool, places like that. For the rest of us, it's going to be some wet snow, we think, at the start. And because this is early in the day, the strong March sun angle won't mean a whole lot at this point because it's early in the day. And snowfall rates initially could be impressive enough that even on the relatively warm ground, on the roads in other words, some of this can stick. So a tricky morning commute for early morning risers still is going to be a possibility, even though you know this isn't all the snow in the world. It's something we're going to have to be aware of in some parts of our area. That things could be a little bit slick at the start of the day. As the morning wears on, though, very quickly, we think, uh, at least these have been the trends overnight, from southwest to northeast, uh, we should start to see some mixed precipitation taking over. So already by 8 or 9 a.m., uh, we're thinking raindrops, maybe sleep pellets, uh, and little in the way of additional accumulation as far as snow goes, uh, should be occurring already by mid-morning in areas south of Interstate 80. So from Youngstown, Austintown, etc. on south, uh, the show, as far as any accumulating snow, may be over pretty quickly by 7, 8, 9 o'clock in the morning. And as we go into the midday hours, uh, that trend will likely continue with a little bit of a northward jog of our mixed precip precipitation zone. Now, in our far northern areas, say from Warren to Cortland to Sharon to Mercer and Fredonia on north, uh, we might not see a lot of mixing. It may be primarily still wet snow into the midday, early afternoon. And that's why those are the places that have the higher chance of seeing the higher snowfall totals. But either way, we should see snowfall rates decrease as we go into the afternoon. And again, by early afternoon, it'll it'll have stopped snowing in a lot of Columbiana County, you know, a few hours earlier. Um, but even in areas that hang on to snow rather than mixed precip precipitation a little bit longer, by afternoon, it's probably just piddling around a little bit, a little bit of light snow, some flurries, additional accumulations we, we think would be pretty insignificant by afternoon. So most of the accumulating snow on Friday, even in places that get a little bit more, should be in the morning and early midday hours uh, with improving conditions as we get into the afternoon. But some light snow, some flurries will stick around into the afternoon. Temperatures will start to cool. And then as we've been talking about, no matter what you get on Friday, everywhere across our area is going to be colder Friday night as temperatures drop back below freezing. And there'll be a little lake effect and lake enhanced snow. Uh, these little fingers of lake effect will set up. And with temperatures dropping into the 20s, anything wet and slushy, can freeze up. There can be some small additional accumulations with this kind of lake effect regime, maybe a coating to at most an inch worth of, of new snow. So we'll have to be on guard for some slick surfaces Friday night, maybe first thing Saturday morning, even though in your location, depending on where you are, during the day Friday, you might not have picked up much snow at all. This will be a, a wet snow. Um, 
it'll compact easily, make for a good snowball if you get enough snow to form a snowball. Um, here's a look at uh, one model depiction of, of, of snow to liquid ratios. A lot of times we talk about 10 to 1 as far as a typical snow to liquid ratio, but it varies a lot. Drier snow, fluffier snow can be 20 to 1 or higher. This is the kind of snow that will be lower than 10 to 1 for the most part. Uh, notice the legend at the bottom of your screen. Uh, let's actually uh, let's zoom out so you can see this a little bit better. There we go. The legend down here at the bottom of your screen. Some of these purple colors, uh, you know, this is only 7 or 8 or 9 to 1 as far as the snow to liquid uh, ratio. Uh, so this is uh, the kind of snow that doesn't accumulate as efficiently as the drier, fluffier, airier stuff. Um, but it will make good packing snow if you want to toss around a snowball, uh, if you get enough snow to, to, to form that snowball uh, during the course of uh, a Friday morning and midday. So here's the snow map we put out yesterday, and I think this still looks pretty good. Um, coating to most an inch first thing in the morning, um, south of 224, and especially down towards uh, uh, East Palestine, East Liverpool, Lisbon, Salineville, Hanoverton, places like that. Um, once you get up towards... Uh, Canfield, Boardman, Poland, Youngstown, an inch to maybe, maybe at most two or three, um, but your chances of getting the higher end of the range appear to be decreasing uh, in this zone, so keep your expectations in check, kind of in the right in the middle of our viewing area. Your best chance of three inches or so remains uh, north of, say, 82 in Trumbull County, uh, north of a line from, from Southington and Warren uh, and places like that on north. Um, so up towards Johnston, Fowler, uh, Mecca, Kinsman, over towards Mesopotamia, Bloomfield, uh, th those are the best places in Trumbull County maybe to see three or four inches of, uh, worth of snow. Uh, over towards uh, Mercer County and Greenville, heading across over towards uh, Sandy Lake, places like that. Uh, you still have the best chance of seeing a little bit more than three up there. Um, and you also in those places might pick up a little bonus snow Friday night maybe up to an inch worth of, of lake effect snow shower activity there for Friday night. For the rest of us though, uh, the trends appear to be for less snow, um, but we'll keep an eye on those trends as we go through the day today. Uh, it is gonna be a cold stretch of weather by March standards into early next week. Nothing extreme, but cold by March standards into early next week. We should see some temperature recovery though by the second half of next week and closer to St. Patrick's Day, the St. Patrick's Day Parade in Mahoning County Sunday is going to be a cold affair. Temperatures mostly in the 20s and into the 30s in the afternoon. All right, we'll have much more uh, on social media on the Storm Tracker 21 app and on our newscasts at midday, 5 p.m. and 6 p.m. later on today. Enjoy some sunshine today. It'll be another pretty nice day for the third day in a row on this Thursday. Have a great day, everyone.